we're gonna be starting off with that Smashbox Full Expose. I'm just grabbing that new color just to put it all over the primer that I applied. Just to have like a nice base that way when we put the other shadows on top of it, it's easier to blend out. Now I have the Maya Mia from Anastasia palette and I'm grabbing the warm taupe color and I'm just applying that onto the crease. Make sure that you're blending everything. Now I'm blending from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then I'm going to be grabbing that kind of like taupe color from that Smashbox palette. Since this one was a little more darker. And I'm applying that right in the crease as well. Today's look, um, I'm going for like this kind of like cool tone Arabic look. I don't know, I had this thing in my mind and I thought it was kind of fun and colorful so I just decided to go with that. Now I'm going to be grabbing that nude color and then the one from Anastasia, the color is vanilla and I'm applying that on the brow bone area just to highlight. Now I'm grabbing a pencil brush and I'm going to be going in this BH Cosmetics um, Day and Night Palette and I'm taking that turquoise color. You can use any colors that you guys have. Um, and I'm applying that in the outer corner and then also in the inner corner. We're going to be creating kind of a halo effect. Now this is all up to you, um, like I said in my previous videos, how intensified you guys want the colors, I kind of want it a little intensified. Now you guys don't have to use the same colors that I'm using, if you like the, the technique of the eyeshadow, you can use whatever colors you want, you know, if you guys are more into that warm tone colors you know just use your browns your golds and stuff like that I wanted to go for something a little more dramatic now I went in in the Urban Decay Electric palette and I used the color fringe just to intensify the color a little more Now I'm going in that Maya Mia palette and I'm using the color Nude and I'm going to be applying that right in the center of the lid. Just to clean up any mess that we made in the middle, sort of. Now I do apologize that I haven't been videotaping that often and I'm not doing talk throughs, it's just I have little girls. And they're always in the room when I'm trying to film for you guys. And like I have to fight with my youngest daughter because she steals all the makeup. Now I grab from Tarte that new Tarte Tartus, I think that's what it's called, eyeliner. And I'm just, I was just making sure that the eyeliners match up right there. Now I didn't show what I did I did kind of like a double wing at the end and then a double wing in the middle the problem was I was out of focus when I was doing this part I apologize now I grabbed a black eyeshadow and I'm just going over that just to set the eyeliner in place that way we don't get it to be running all over Now, as you can see on the double wing side towards the end, I'm just cleaning up the area with a little bit of concealer. And I grabbed the both of those turquoise colors and I mixed them together and I'm applying that underneath my lash line. Now I did bring this in pretty forward towards the wing and towards the back now I'm using my NYC jumbo pencil and cottage cheese
Now I'm going in with the Maya Mia palette. The color is vanilla and I'm just applying that in the middle. With any small little brush that you guys have. Now I did apply eyelashes. I wasn't able to show it to you guys. I think they were from Ardell Double Up. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. Now I'm going in with my concealer from NARS um, just to highlight the area. Now if you guys like dramatic looks like this, please thumb up the video, leave any comments because I like using colors. I'm not in, like I like using like regular news and stuff like that, but this is YouTube. We want to, you know, do things a little bit more outside the box. Now I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shading Light and I'm just setting the where we put the concealer. Make sure we don't have like no running going throughout the day. <laughs> now I'm using the same palette and I'm going to be using the middle color right there just to warm up the face. Now I did go in with a dark color from the palette just to kind of contour a little bit. Let me know if you guys like this lighting because I'm actually staying like sitting in front of the window. Sometimes I feel like it washes out the colors, but then again, I don't know, like if I sit somewhere else, it's going to be too dark to do the videos. Now, I'm using the other side of that brush just to contour the nose. Nothing too dramatic, just to give a little more definition. I also applied a little bit under my bottom lip just to, you know, make them look a little bigger. <laughs> now I'm going in with MAC Soft and Gentle and, of course, highlighting the face. I love this highlighter. For some reason, I always come back to it. Now I'm going in with this e.l.f. Um, contour and blush palette. I'm not quite sure what's the name of it. It doesn't really have a name. And I just used that blush to put all over my cheeks. And I, I felt like it wasn't giving me the color payoff that I wanted. So I went in over with uh, Milani's Luminoso. Now the lip that I'm using is from Maybelline, the elixirs, the color is Petal Plush. 
course you guys can pair it with whatever lip color you guys wanted. <laughs>